So I have been a fan of Brian Cranston for a number of years. One, for his incredible performance in the TV show Breaking Bad, one of the most successful TV shows in the history of TV, but also for being a man of character and sharing his wisdom and insight from a 30-year career as a working actor. So when Brian Cranston released his very own autobiography, I was super excited to read it. Perhaps the best way to describe Cranston's career is through a quote he said on the Canadian talk show Tonight with George Strombolopoulos. In fact, someone told me that there's this Chinese proverb that says, may you reach uh, fame and fortune early on in life. And it's not intended to be favorable. It's a, a curse yeah, because they, they don't feel that you can handle that. Unlike the typical Hollywood tell-all, Cranston's memoir is absent of drug abuse, stints in rehab, strings of broken relationships, and at least according to Cranston, this is largely due to the fact that success for him came much later in life. So if you wish to avoid success at too young an age, as weird as that sounds, what does Cranston recommend instead? At the age of 20, Cranston and his brother set out on a cross-country road trip. At the time of departure, Cranston had a promising career lined up as a police officer, but he wasn't completely sold on the idea of a life in law enforcement. Cranston took his time to figure out what he cared most about and began his pursuit from there. It was during his time traveling that Cranston decided to go all in on acting. Cranston writes, I will pursue something that I love and hopefully become good at it instead of pursuing something that I'm good at but don't love. Cranston spent many years struggling for his craft, taking bit part in guest roles and eventually at the age of 44, landing his first major role as Hal in Malcolm in the Middle. Cranston concludes his memoir with one final thought from his time playing President Lyndon Johnson in the Broadway production of All the Way. While waiting to go on stage, Cranston recalls repeatedly telling himself, it was all so I could have this feeling. It was all so that I could have this moment. And if there's one point that I'm gonna take away from this book, it's to enjoy the process and not to rush towards success and get discontent with the journey, but to be thankful for it. When I look at my own life, I'm not that much older than Brian Cranston was when he took his cross-country road trip. And after reading this book, I think it's worth asking myself, what are the moments I want to build my life towards? And what are those big feelings that I want to chase? Anyways guys, that is it for today's video. If you liked it and you want to see more videos from us here at Goal Guys, then make sure to click that subscribe button down below. We are trying to close out 2017 on a strong note, so me and Brennan are working hard to put out some killer videos over the next few weeks that, trust me, you're not going to want to miss these ones. I'm, I'm so excited to show you. Also, on another note, I've just finished my book, Brian Cranston, A Life in Parts stellar. You should definitely read that. But if you've got a book that you love and you think I should love it too, then let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I think that's it. I will catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye!